Hello everyone, I am Nate Asher and welcome back to Let's Play The Legend of Zelda The Wind Waker HD In this episode, we are making our way to Ganon's Castle Where we are going to end this thing for all Your final advice? Long ago, Ganon's tower was an imp impenetrable fortress that not even the daring and dauntless knights of Hyrule could hope to assail. You must sharpen your senses so as not to fall victim to Ganon's illusions. Hmm. I don't know what you're talking about, buddy. It sounds like a pretty simple go in. Take care of business and get out. Mission to me. Once again, feigning ignorance. I've played every Zelda game, so it's like, however, like I don't know. Like you don't have to tell me in the comments. Like, not that anyone has. But yeah, no fun if I know all the answers. By the way, you see he has a health bar now. It's because of our um, hero's charm mask thing. So now we can see the health of every enemy. Kind of cool, but like most common enemies only take one to two hits, so not really much of a point showing their health gauge, but whatever. You'd see that one gradually dropped. Alright, so yeah, it's kind of like um, Ocarina of Time in the sense that once you get to Yenna's Tower, you have to face like many temples that are meant to resemble like the temples that you face uh, throughout the game. So we just came from there, so it'd be like 
Dragon Roost, uh, Forsaken Fork, or not Forsaken Fork, just the, uh, um, something, like, Forsaken Woods or something, um, that would be the, uh, Earth Temple, and then that's the Wind Temple. Yeah, anyway, <laughs> let's just go ahead and take on the uh, dragon roof. These doors are cool though. Don't hit me, don't hit me, don't hit me, don't hit me. Oh, God. Here, I'll be back. Okay, I'm back. Sorry. Work like these 68 hours this week. And, uh, starting to get, like, sticks and stuff, so. I didn't get sick just then. I just had heartburn from earlier getting sick. Dude, this freaking bubble's gonna get me. Can I just like fly over that would be very ideal. Please make it up. Heck yeah, dude. What the crap? All I've got in my inventory is this. Oh wait. That's not what I do. Heck yeah.
by the way, if you wanted to do the, um, the pictograph thing, and you miss any of the bosses, where is he at? You can take a picture of these apparitions and it counts. Yeah, watch the same cutscene again, this time in sepia tone. No, dude. Yeah, I guess we killed him just by like launching that at his eye. Fine. Alright, first one down. So, anyway, that's gonna do it for this episode. Thank you guys so much for watching. Um, for those of you wondering, I did mention that we are for sure playing um, the the new Skyward Sword remake. Uh, I mean, I already have it pre ordered, I have the new Joy Cons, I have everything. So, um,. Yeah, we're going to get that as soon as uh, it comes out. I uh, do not get digital copies of Zelda games. I only get physical copies. Therefore, I will not be doing like an early thing because I downloaded the Australian version. Uh, just because with Zelda, like it's 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 half of a collectible thing, half of a playing the game thing, and so uh, I don't want to just just have the digital um, first I always get the physical so um, it will just be the day that it releases which is July 20 something I want to say like uh, I'll have to look at the day again but um, yeah so we're these episodes are gonna be a little bit shorter as we make our way to Ganon and then um, in the meantime we will uh, Go back and do some of the uh, 100% uh, of the game, like extra stuff, like mini games and pieces of hearts and treasure charts and all that good stuff. So, um, but anyways, I will see you guys then. Bye.